Son of a glitch. Mario Kart 64, the kart racer to end all kart racers, and in this episode we're going to explore some serious lap skipping glitches. Starting with Toad's Turnpike, now this first skip is pretty technical so stay with me on this one. When the race starts you're going to jump and get stuck inside the barrier at the side of the track. This has to be done where the track crosses over itself, which you can see on the map. Once Lakitu catches you, hold the B button, steer right and then hit the A button as soon as you're back on the track. Once you're facing all the way right, immediately let go of the B button, and if performed correctly, you should shoot straight through the barrier and the wall. The reason this happens is Lakitu can't catch you while already on screen from the previous animation. The barrier also has no collision detection for a few frames, meaning you're able to clip through the barrier and the wall to land on the track below. The position of the initial jump to get into the barrier is key, because Lakitu will put you back on the track at the same position, ideally where the track crosses over. This next glitch skips laps in Calamari Desert. When the race starts, hang back to get into 8th position and then head for the item boxes. With any luck, and because of your position, you'll get a star power up. With this star, head into the train tunnel and about halfway through, Lakitu will tell you to reverse. Activate the star and then randomly, you'll have skipped the lap. In Frap Snowland, when the race begins, turn around and then head back onto the bridge and then turn back again to face the finish line. Drive forward and jump directly from the bridge and onto the snow without touching the road. Keep driving past the finish line and then you'll get stuck. Lakitu will put you back down on the bridge and then you'll be a lap ahead. Perform the process two more times and then the race is over. The game thinks you're at the end of the last lap each time Lakitu puts you back on the bridge because you jumped from the road to the snow. Next to Wario Stadium where it's possible to jump over the first wall. Drive up this ramp and with a well-timed jump, you'll be straight over the top of the wall. But there's also a way to jump back over this red and white wall. This second jump back over is very tricky as the timing on it is tight, about a fifteenth for the second. But this jump also depends on what part of the wall you hit. The tops of the wall are sloped away from you, which will help push you over the top of it. But it'll take practice. If you do this trick three times, you'll beat the track in record time. In Royal Raceway, there's a skip that requires you hop across the river at speed and then land on the other side of a very specific polygon face. As you drift right around that sharp corner, start another drift to the left, and this helps you build up speed to make the jump across. The game thinks you attempted the jump from the huge ramp ahead and failed, then puts you back at the top of the ramp again. In DK's Jungle Parkway, there's a pretty big glitch that skips a lap. When the race begins, turn and go backwards and then turn back around, somewhere about here. What you're attempting to do is clip through this area of the wall. Get some speed up and drive directly at that area. Now this glitch is tricky because you're clipping out of the track to register a lap change and then clipping back into the track to continue the race. Thankfully you just have to drive in a straight line but the angle is key and it's pretty precise. You have to be far right enough to trick the game into thinking you completed a lap but far enough left to clip back into the track. Do this process two more times and you'll finish the race. Onto Yoshi Valley now and a lap glitch that requires a speed item, ideally a normal mushroom or three, triple mushrooms being very optimal for this. The trick can be done with a star but it's that much more difficult. Hang back into 8th place just like in Calamari Desert and go for the item boxes. Once you have some mushrooms, drive back towards the finish line and face this tree. You're trying to line up with a very small target on the cliffside which you'll see in a second. If you hit that area, you'll fall down the cliff as usual, but the game registers the completion of a lap without you doing so. Repeat this process as many times as you can with the items you have, and you'll finish this race super quickly. Lining yourself up with the target is the hardest part. The tree is a rough marker, or failing that, eyeball it with what you see in this episode. Once you hit the cliffside, a bounce left is what you need, which you can't control, but if you hit the target or thereabouts, you'll naturally bounce left, which is a lap skip. Rainbow Road has this very famous trick to skip nearly half the track, which is performed by hopping over the fence and then sticking the landing at the other end. A very easy trick with practice, but you guys want to see something more challenging than that. On your way around the course, pick up a green shell and hold onto it till the last straight to the finish line. Aim the green shell at the fence, fire it off, get hit by the shell and hopefully you'll clear the fence and fall towards the finish line. If done correctly, you'll pass the finish, but Lakitu will rescue you and put you back on the course just before the finish line, meaning you've essentially just completed another lap. This trick is very precise and is harder with a single green shell. The angle at which you fire the shell is key to getting hit and being knocked over the side. You also need to maintain your speed to get you past the finish line once you're off the track. 
So there you have it guys, some cool glitches for you to try out in Mario Kart 64. And if you like this episode, hit that like button, share it with everyone you know and love, but most importantly, please subscribe if you want to see more from the series.